we find our money lord betrayed and incarcerated. During his time in prison, he becomes aware that one of his own has been ratted out. By bribing the warden, he acquires the technology necessary to determine to determine the snitch. Using the technical, our mug lord is now able to witness previously unnoticed events from the past, some of which involved himself. So as we travel back to the 1950s, I think I should ask. I get right in the middle, it's kind of scary real quick. <laughs> Appraisers, are you ready? Clue us in. That's so cool. <laughs> Team, are you ready? Wait for it. Yes. yes. <laughs> you have eight minutes. Your time begins now. betrayed by one of my own. It was a perfect plan. How could I have failed so miserably, fallen so far? At least I bribed the warden into giving me everything I could want, including this drive-in movie projector. <laughs> with it, I can examine some security footage from my office. That, combined with the photo clarification apparatus I've devised, or PCA, should give me some clues as to who it was that tossed me under the bus. There must be something I didn't see, something I didn't notice the first time around. Seeing it now, all this power and not a care in the world as I sat on my throne. Then I said, keep your hands off my phone, Belometer. Great. It looks like my brother forgot how to pour coffee again. Uh. Dang it, Nigel, now it's everywhere. Sorry, boss. Oh, I envy that red glove thing. She's always stealing my husband's attention. That flirty little twit. But no matter. Because I've got my eyes on a better prize. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you scared me. Hello, Mrs. Demogs. Call me Lola. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think that's uh... Now listen here and listen good, you handsome, proud man, you. One day, we'll get that pesky mug lord out of the way. And when we do, we won't have to keep this a secret anymore. Say, who knows? It could happen sooner than we think. Now, come along now, Shookums. We have some business to attend to. <laughs> Of course! See, my wife, she has a very lustful side. See, we we met in Vegas. Her name is Lola. She was a showgirl. She wore feathers in her hair and a dress cut down to there. I was a weak man, and after a few hours of talking and laughing, we got married in a drive through chapel. And what happened in Vegas, it did not stay in Vegas. But do I really want to believe she would go so far as to be the turncoat in this? There had to be someone else. No, Muggsy, you can't have a raise. But, sir! No! Maybe, if you weren't overcome by sloth, we'd actually get some work done around here. Sir, why are you so angry? I shouldn't have to explain it to a lazy greaser. Now get to work. Fiddlesticks! I'm dang near broke. It's so frustrating. I mean, I have mouths to feed. Two purebred Pomeranians, sprinkles and shortcake. I have to do something about this. I've done more for this business than that flutterbum Philip de Muggs ever has. Why, if I was in charge, no one would have to worry about something as trivial as <laughs> finances. That ignorant, arrogant little as I suspect, my good friend Muggsy's looking for some old gold nuggets in his pockets. 
He's been with me when times were the toughest, even when we had those horrible mustaches. See, he easily lets his pride take control, but he's a good guy. I don't want to believe he's the one who would betray me. There had to be something else. Em, I heard some ruckus upstairs. Go scope it out. Found it! that this isn't plugged in, right? And it looks chock full. What do you even- <gasps> Why? Miss my cups! I never! Your gluttony for mugs has gotten out of control! Oh, I know, I know! I I just can't stop collecting mugs! You see, <laughs> it started with just one, but before I knew it, I was stealing more and more. I love drinking out of mugs, sipping out of mugs, ginger ale, club soda, even lemonade! Not lemonade! Yes, lemonade! I need more. Whoa! Huh. I'll just leave you to that. Greedy, gluttonous little germ. <laughs> What's that, Mr. Mug? You say there's no such thing as too many mugs? You say you have a plan? But that's so. No, I couldn't possibly. Oh, but I can. All right, we'll do that then. My, my, that was <clears throat> intense. I suppose it's my own fault for overlooking my Sweet McCuff's mug addiction. You see, it was getting a bit out of hand, so I cut her off and she seemed fine, but I suppose her greed only grew as she snuck mugs behind my back. Do I really want to believe such a kind soul really could have been the culprit? Ah! Nigel, you oaf! What are you doing here? You threw me off my groove! Sorry! I just came by to deliver these photographic documents. It's the last of your surveillance footage, but... I see you have plenty now, so... Wait, 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 wait. Bring it to me. It might be the final piece of accusatory evidence I need. Now put it there. Okie dokie. I love you, No, you right. spaz the envelope! <laughs> Alright. Let's see who this is. Nigel! This film's all blurry! <laughs> Sorry! I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Just plug your into your PCA and maybe it'll make it all clear. Nigel, I have an idea. I'll plug it into the PCA and it'll make it all clear. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea, sir! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm expecting a visitor. Do you want to go get them and send them in? Right. Okie dokie. Let's see how this bad boy works. I knew it! That's right! It was me! Mr. Mug gave me the perfect idea! With you out of the way, I'm unstoppable! And so is my desire for, for mugs! You know I'm not going to let you get away with this, McCops! I'm still here! When I get out of this rat's nest, I'll have my wrath on you in a matter of time! time. <laughs>